everyone. Today we are going to be doing a video that is a little bit different. I am going to be doing a card collection video for Ensemble Stars. It's been about a year since I started playing, so I figured I would show you all the cards I've gotten over the last year. And as of this recording, it is actually my birthday. And more importantly, it is actually Ray's birthday in Japan because, you know, they're about a day ahead. So at the end of this video, I'm going to be doing a scout in his birthday box. And yeah, I'd just like to get into this video now. I wanted to mention that I am 100% free to play besides, you know, the startup fee of getting a Japanese iTunes account. But that, like, wasn't really directly related with um, this game, so I don't really consider that, like, a purchase in this game, especially, like, considering how much money people spend on, like, buying Daya and stuff. So, if you're worried about spending money on this game, um, if you can be like me and, you know, you'll be just fine with your dedication and, you know, saving up the Daya you get um, through just doing the events, so you won't have to completely waste all of your sanity. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna go into my cards, and I have a list of all the names of what the cards I have are. So I'm only gonna do the uh, four stars and five stars, because those are like the interesting ones. Um, okay, so starting off here, we have my handsome boy, my f one of my favorite characters in all of Ensemble Stars. This is Hajime, this is his starter initial card. Um, it's really cute. Um, basically, I should mention now that I decide if I want to bloom a card or not, basically if I like the um, bloomed art or not, and I think he looks much cuter like this, so I've decided not to bloom him. Okay, the next card I have here is this Tori. This is his bloomed art. I can zoom in and unbloom him for you. This one was from a gacha that is the same one where I pulled the user root, which I will show you later. This is what his unbloomed art is. And he's really, really cute. I love him looking like a little prince. I have um, uh, Shinobu's initial and I also have Yuta's initial. I wasn't planning on blooming this, but I think I am going to now. Um, it's finally looking at what the card art is like. This is a pretty cute card. He's my preferred member of the twins, so I'm glad I have him as opposed to his brother. So I'm gonna go to the rest of the first year, so I just scroll down all the way. You can look at all my other cards as I go there. Um, this is... My Showtime Sora, I got this in the last scout I did, which is for one of the limited gotchas. And I was actually trying to get the Wataru in that set, but I somehow managed to pull him too, and I'm not mad, because um, I got all of them. But yeah, he's really cute. I'm going to bloom him at some point as well, um, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Okay, going back. Let's zoom back my boys. I have Makoto, who is my favorite character. He's one of the ones that I was really excited to like get cards of when I first started the game. And I picked Trickstar as my starting unit and I actually got his starter card as my first starter card. So I'm really, really happy about that. I think he's really cute. I bloomed him just because he was my first one, but I actually think his unbloomed is cuter. And then I think one of the very first um, event scouts I ever did was this one, which was, uh, I think this is the Sage Makoto or, or Alchemy Makoto. I don't really remember the name, um, but he's really, really cute in his unbloomed. And then I like his bloomed card art, but um, with both the mini character and the um, like outfit that you get for him. His glasses are really really small on his face So it kind of looks really weird. He doesn't really look very flattering with his really really small circle glasses Going along I have this I believe is the Star Soma. I'm not a big uh, fan of this group so um, I Don't really have any plans on working on uh, blooming him and then this is an Adonis, uh, this is the starter Adonis, I think. 
Yes, and then they also have, right next to him, is this Adonis from an event that they're doing right now, sort of a daily login one. And I don't know what his card art looks like when he's bloomed. I haven't seen him. I don't think he was up on the wiki for a little while, so I haven't looked at that. And then, <laughs> okay, this is like one of the funniest parts. So I have a lot of Kogas, as you can see, and they kind of have all been accidental. This first one is the Koga from the same event that the Adonis is from, the daily login. But the first Koga card I got is this one from the winter event last year. And this was a ranking four star and it dropped from an emergency live. And I am really, really amazed by that. I was like freaking out because it was the very first and like only time that's ever happened. And I think it was just really cool. And I'm really glad it's with a character and a card that I really like. So it was just a really exciting moment for me. And then, okay, this Koga is a card that basically started a huge amount of fan wars. So this card is another ranking four star for, I guess I was in like the summertime, an event with all of Undead and the servers had like a lot of trouble and people were like, I guess panicking because if they were trying to rank, they didn't know if they would be able to get this card or not. Um, so as a way to sort of remedy that, Happy Elements gave this card out to everyone that participated in the event, whether or not you were going to rank for him or not. And a lot of people were really mad about this because they felt it was like sort of unfair that so many people had, you know, spent a lot of money trying to get this card and then other people that uh, hadn't really done anything were getting this card for free, which is basically what I did because I was definitely not anywhere close to ranking. But they basically did it in the first place to help people because they were worried that people would be mad if they didn't get it. So, I mean, like, I completely understand Happy Elements' reasoning for it, and I don't know why people were freaking out about it. Okay, this next one is the most recent Koga I got, and I was really, really happy when I pulled him because I, it was another, like, it's a five-star gacha card, which I, like, never really thought I was going to get it, but, um, I'm really happy I did. I, this is his bloomed version, um, and his unbloomed makes him look like a nerd. I just love this card because it's so, like, trashy and disgusting looking. I love how his tongue is out and his, like, shirt is unbuttoned. It, like, it just looks so, like, disgusting, and I think that's really funny. Okay, moving right along. I really would like a four-star Mao. I don't have any Mao's. Um, so this is the first five-star I got. It's the user one. Uh, this is from the same event as the Tori four-star I have. And I really, really like card art um, where it's not only the card, the character of the card, but also like another character in it as well. And I really like this one because it's user and Tori together. It's really, really cute. And then his five star is like him with a riding crop and he like looks really cool. I really like the design. I like how both of the five stars I got before Sora were both like super like I guess like hyper sexualized versions of the characters and I was really really hoping to get the five star Wataru dancing one because it also is like sort of sexual but I did not get it very unfortunately. I broke the streak and instead I got Sora. Speaking of the dancing one, this is the dancing Aichi. Um, and it's really, really funny because his unbloomed art is like super duper cute. But if you've seen the bloomed art, he also is like kind of like sort of suave and sexy. And <laughs> I think that's uh, just like a weird juxtaposition considering how like cutesy and childish like the unbloomed art is. So I think I will bloom him. I wasn't planning on it before, but I think I will think after seeing the final card art. And then. I have quite a few, this is sort of like the list of the boys I don't really care about as much. I'm not a really big Izumi fan, I don't really care about Chiaki. Um, Kuro's okay, but pretty much I have all these cards. I've pulled up quite a lot of Izumis for someone that doesn't really care that much about Izumi. Um, but this was, I think, I think I pulled this Izumi because there was a 5-star uh, Makoto on the event, but I didn't, I got the 4-star Izumi instead, which is okay. But, you know, I would have obviously preferred the Makoto because he's my favorite. Um, 
And then this is the uh, four star Wataru from the Magician event with Sora. So I am planning on blooming him. I'm really, really happy I got him. I've wanted like a Wataru card of like either four star or five star for a while now. So I'm really happy that I have him. And then actually it's good that I have this Wataru here to show you. And then I also have my, my most prized possession is my um, secret trick Kanata from the Eccentric Oddball Scout. This is my favorite card set of all time. These are my favorite boys. Um, my and the rest of the meme queens are going to be cosplaying as them, hopefully very soon, probably Katsu. Um, and I'm just really, really excited. I think this Kanata is super cute and I've got his outfit. He's not wearing it right now, but um, yeah, I really, really like this card. I got two copies of him and honestly, I would be really happy if I could get the rest of the Eccentric Oddball Scout because um, I really like all of those cards. And then I have a lot of uh, three stars here, boys that I don't have a lot of other things for. I have this. This is kind of a sad. I'm I'm happy I have this Samugi, but I'm also sad because I scouted him um, when I was trying to get um, cards from Makoto on Makoto's birthday, but he was the four star that came up instead. And I was like, you're close, but you're not, not the boy I was hoping for. And then these last two cards um, were through promotions that Ensemble Source was doing, like collabs with other series. So this is a character from Molten to the Ballroom. And then this is from uh, some other Japanese app, I'm not really sure. But they also had like a uh, event scout with him or Hajime and I think Nazuna were angels. And honestly, like it's really sad, but because it was a collaboration with another character, that made me want to like scout it less, even though it was Hajime. But yeah, that's all of my cards. I got my good Puka Puka boy right here. And I think now we can go ahead and do the scout for um, uh, Ray. So if I can find how to get to the Dengacha, I was hoping it would pop up on the side. But, um, oh, this is just his little like birthday message. I haven't played it at all. I like just turned this game on today. So I'll probably play a little bit of the event story after that. But, um, so it's funny because uh, Ray's art over there was of the my all-time favorite Ray card, which is actually one of the cards that is the reason why I got into Ensemble Stars, which is the Hydrangea Ray card. And if you can see this card art, you'll, it's like the most beautiful thing in the world to me. Um, I love like the lighting and the way that like, it kind of is like, a, I guess like a sexual concept in terms of him being like wet and like his shirt is like semi see-through. It's like all sticking to him. But like the way it's like presented is like, it's so like beautiful and elegant. It looks like a painting. <laughs> and I like the way that the, I guess like the wetness sort of reflects and makes like all the sparkles around and then the way that like the lighting and the yellowness of it also like reflects into the like the performance frame. I like it when the uh, card art colors match the color of like the type of card. So if they're like obviously like it's mostly yellow tones and it's like performance is yellow. So I like the, all of that aspect and I feel like in lots of Ray's he, Ray cards he's like super um like moody or like kind of dramatic and that's like a much more tender side of Ray in comparison to like that. So I really really want that card. That's like my favorite um card possibly ever. So I'm really happy I'm I really really would like to get it. I don't think I will, but I have a guaranteed four star because I haven't scouted in the monthly scouting box for a while. So okay I'm gonna see I'm gonna do what this is. Oh, there's some free thing here. Um, well, maybe we can do two pulls then. I don't know if that'll be good, but I let's just go for it. I feel like I'm talking a little bit too fast, but I've never done one of these type of videos. Also, I can't really hear because um, the audio is going through my computer, but hopefully you'll, you'll feel the intensity. That's not Ray. Who is it? It looks like Tsukasa. Oh, it's Hokuto. <laughs> um, that's cool. I don't know. This is not his starter card. I don't know what card that is. 
I have a bad habit of accidentally hitting the skip button at the top. Okay, that's the first way we've gotten. I think I have that card. I don't have that one. He looks- whoa, someone looks really moe. Um, I don't think I have that ray. Oh my gosh, that one's really cute. That was another boy. Okay. So, all of the rays I have are three stars. That's perfectly fine, and I don't have- I don't know what that Hokuto is. I'll have to look it up. Okay. Well, I have- Oh, I wonder if I should do it. Now, because I just did that, and I'm pretty sure that's my f guaranteed four star. But I think I might just do it anyway because I was planning on spending the Daya. So hopefully I'll get something good. Okay, please. I think that's right. E I can't tell. Yes, it is. But it's just, oh, I think it's all three stars though. Dang. Oh, that makes me sad. Oh, I really like, I like the Ray and the Rain one. Yeah, I think these are all three stars. I might skip. Oh, but the suspense. Yeah, I'll skip the rest of them. Oh, fuck, but the rest of them is, oh no, the next is guaranteed four. I don't have a Daya though, and I don't think I'm going to be able to get any, but yeah, there's my cards. I did not get the boy I was hoping for. I wasn't really anticipating getting him though, but I don't know what that Hokuto is. I go to my cards now. I'm hoping to eventually get um, uh, a good Subaru and a good Mal as, and then I will be able to have like a full Trickstar team because they are my favorite unit. Um, but yeah, this is a really pretty Hokuto. I don't know what event this is from, but yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm sorry if it was a little scattered, but yeah, I really do like Ensemble Stars a lot. I want to do like a review of it and maybe some of the other games that I play in the future. So if you're interested in seeing more of this type of video, then um, let me know in the comments. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll be signing off. Oh, don't be sad. Come on. Come on, Kansa. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>